this is just going to be a very short video for what I'm concerned. Uh, Slovenian floods, floods in Slovenia, a, a comical situation, Slovenian comical independence situation through which but this case, you know what this case is? This case is a case of hatred. It took Serbia 48 years to expand itself through the ex-Federation, Yugoslav Federation, uh, with the use of war. Uh, and it was, it became a continuation of expansion uh, through my case through using me through using my case and slovenian authorities ljubljana therefore janša uh, janis janša uh, igor baucher dmitri rupel uh, all this opposition to milan kuchan and Borut pahor they worked really 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 hard to strangle to suffocate every resistance possible on the territory of Slovenia. And this suffocation of Slovenian national resistance against the greater Serbian Chetnik state goes on also through the floods in Slovenia. I will, this is going to be a very, very, very short video in which I'm going to accent you even assistance such as the right to offer, the right to grant, the right to give assistance to Slovenian population during these floods from abroad from abroad was maybe was the heaviest negotiation factor in this whole weather modification program which took place in eastern part of Tyrol in eastern Tyrol they did this weather modification uh, and when it comes to assistance to Slovenia from abroad. I cannot find better than a news which was involved in MK Ultra. Voice Lo Shesher was involved in MK Ultra since probably my age five. This was a frequent next to Dodik visitor to Belgrade. Dodik Vucic, Vucic is younger. This would be the people, Karadzic and Dodik would be the people that would be, this were Bosnian Serbs. This is a referent. Yeah, in Slovenia we say a referent, the one that goes and reports. Yeah? You know, they have Tito had like uh, people, but only Serbs that would be reporting to him from the territory of the Bosnia, Croatia, uh, behind the closed doors uh, and one of the people also was a Vojslav Šešel. Vojslav Šešel <clears throat> I shouldn't say Tito I shouldn't say Tito because Tito was hijacked Tito was a prisoner uh, Tito, there were two people, there were two people, you understand me, two people in Belgrade that Tito feared, uh, Tito, Marshal Josip Bros Tito feared, two people in Belgrade, there were two people in Belgrade. One individual I already have pointed out yesterday, it was Borisov Jovic, this was a quiet individual who was involved in my case since the case started. And then there was another individual. If you cross path to these people, you were as good as dead. These people assassinated people. Whenever I was brought to the Belgrade, it was different. 
he never said a Bosnian police officer here who was in Slovenia, one of the police officers who took care of me, who delivered me to Belgrade and never take care of me. I was I was I was I was basically a cattle, an animal, on a level of the animal. Uh, I will tell you when you have to be careful, when you have to fear for your life. I will tell you, I will warn you, because Belgrade was the place that politicians who became politicians, um, people such as his uh, Croatian president, warned me about, now Croatian president, warned me about giving a piece of advice, fake and just let them throw you on the floor and do those children whatever they want because they will kill you. This is Belgrade. Okay? So it was like, when you are delivered to the Belgrade, just play dead, basically. Or you, they will kill you. This, is, this was a rule. And it was the rule for everybody. Serbs are always the best. The best, the best for everybody. Better than every, everybody in Yugoslavia were Serbs. Always they were number one. So but this is about video about something else here. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't worry about uh Kara Georgiewicz's meeting Tito straight through the door would come. Tito sometimes would go off. He would go off and he would yell at this uh even at Boris Ojovic and so on. Because Boris Ojovic not really, because Boris Ojovic ran Yugoslavia from the background completely. Uh, but Boris Ojovic was always, he was always using, he was, he was playing as like one of the people, but he was pulling the, the uh, needs behind the curtain and was using other politicians to deliberately deliver to Tito in the face some uh, guy here and there whenever he did necessary to agitate Tito. To basically just agitate him, and one of the pe one of the people who agitated Tito was Sheshel. But because Sheshel did not get along with Tito, uh, that doesn't mean that Sheshel was not happy. He was a frequent visitor to Belgrade. It was nothing different for Sheshel as it was for other people. He was completely updated. They had this Chetnik people in the rear, totally updated with the situation that went on in the Belgrade. Now, I just want to say to you something. Uh, Vojslav Sheshel, that's a Milan Kuchan. You know, you understand that this is Milan Kuchan. Vojslav Sheshel translated proper, in a proper language, is Milan Kuchan. That's a Milan Kuchan. That's a Borut Pahor. Borut Pahor, Milan Kuchan, uh, Gregor Golovic, Janus Dernoshek, Danilo Turk, uh, Mrs. Kresal, uh, Tanya Fayon. You, you do understand that Vojslav Sheshel, Chetnik Vojslav Sheshel is Borut Pahor. This is Milan Kuchan. You do understand. Of course you do. Let me explain. The issue of the Serbia was heavily negotiated for the coming floods between Abort Pahor, who was always a president of Slovenia. There was actually nobody really in Slovenia other than Bort Pahor and Bort Pahor. The only thing he did was he accented <clears throat> a politic. He was using a Yansha and all these clowns to accent uh, the goals the to accent uh, tasks of a Milan Kuchan, basically politic. It doesn't have to be Milan Kuchan. It was just a politic coordinated with what used to be before politic of Milan Kuchan. And Milan Kuchan was just a servant, uh, sub-servant of Belgrade in Slovenia. So the Milan Kuchan would take the orders from the Belgrade and would comply with the orders from Belgrade in Slovenia. And that's what uh, Borut Pahor became. That's a little apparatchik controlled from Belgrade, like on a remote controller. So the guy here by the name Vojslav Sheshul says he is against 
he is giving a boost to the to the owner of Borod Pahor. Owner of the Borod Pahor is Alexander Vucic, that's a Serbian Chetnik. Alexander Vucic, that's the one who owns. He's got a certificate of yeah, Borod Pahor. Yeah, Borod Pahor is like a little uchenik, like a little baby from uh, Alexander Vucic, from the Chetnik Alexander Vucic. So we have a Chetnik here who is openly Chetnik, and his name is Vojslav Šešel, and he is protesting against uh, any kind of form of assistance Slovenia should receive from Serbia. He would not even give the two helicopters to Slovenia if it was for him. Slovenians are very ungrateful, and the thing is that he accents how the he accents how the uh, Slovenians was uh, uh, saved between uh, the World War II from Adolf Hitler. Uh, oh, I'm going to reload this, this so you can see this uh, Milan Kutra and Borut Pahor. You can see him from a real perspective of what it is. He was involved in MK Ultra and he accented this news that Slovenia, for what he is concerned, it's going to be exactly, exactly, exactly like this. Yeah. And then the next step, or why he's doing this stuff, we will get to Vucic because he is doing this stuff for uh, Vucic. He is hallucinating something about uh, that it will be the whole Slovenia that, that wants to come to Belgrade. No worries. Eh? I never wanted to go to Belgrade. I never, from the age four, it was everything that went on in respect to Belgrade. It was against my will. Listen, we have some kind of internet problem here, issues, and I don't have time for this because I have other stuff to do. I got other stuff to do than this monkey business here with his neighbors. Burgers, and so the only thing I'll do is I'll post the link below, and uh, that will be easy for us, easier for us to go along the video. Um, no, according to MK Ultra, Serbia would not send two helicopters against which Vice or Shashel, therefore, a Milan Kutran is protesting against so that he would. Well, so that he would what? Uh, this is a mentor of Alexander Vucic, and you just about uh, to hear Alexander Vucic. He did not release the news yet, no, and I do want to demonstrate it in time. Uh, you're just about to hear, uh, wow. Somehow, computer is just totally retarded. I think it's it's more than just myself doing this stuff. Uh, you will you will hear the what's it? Who will tell you? Ah, oh, Nerse Serbia da šalje. Ali kad je ovo sve krenulo, Serbia će da šalje. I don't know. Yeah. Pedaset helicopter, I am a Serbia. Serbia se da 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 šalje i vojsku i dobrovolce i ove i i i doći će vam na meeting isti na Sloveniju. Yeah, you're gonna get fifty helicopters, then you got the military, and you're gonna get all kinds of parade is gonna go from Belgrade uh, volunteers to Slovenia, and you're gonna get what? You were desperate to escape in 1989 or whatever it was, the fucking meeting of the truth that Belgrade wanted to make in uh, Ljubljana, in the middle of the Ljubljana, when they say it's going to be more service going to come to Slovenia than what Slovenian people exist in Slovenia. So having a negotiated stuff and they promote one like this, they promote this, this all. This is a corpse, man. This this guy is outdated. This is 
this is a this is a politically uh, this is a, this is a, this is this is a political option for mentally ill people. The use at large in Serbia to actions of paradox paradoxism. It was an extremely efficient instrument in the hands of Karadzic and Mladic and all these geniuses that committed mass murder on Balkans, exterminated Bosnian people, Kosovo people, Croatian people, uh, waging war in Slovenia and so on. So, you know, but it's been used to give the boost to Aleksandar Vucic who, by the way, is the owner of the politicians you see today on a political stage, the politicians you have seen on a political stage since the independence of Slovenia. And he's going to come out on a podium for Aleksandar Vucic, and he's going to announce with a big, big, big smile. It's going to be Bitsa, bitsa pomoci, bitsa, bitsa pomoci, bitsa, bitsa svega će bit. I gotta make sure that. Oh, this is fucking cool. Okay, there was nothing yet from the Vucic about the Slovenian floods. All right, nice man. Um, you're gonna see. He's gonna come out and he's gonna make this announcement. You know, but now I tell you what, let's hear first what uh, Sheshel has to say, Sheshel X and how Hitler moved two million Slovenes to Serbia during the World War Two. And and uh, then they had to keep them over there in Slovenia and that kind of stuff. They poisoned the, the villages through the Serbia and so on. You know, a little a little. I wouldn't even say provocateur or stuff like that, but it's like 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 a, like a guy you see digging uh, along the road, you know, like 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 a work, like a heavy, you know, heavy stuff. You know what I mean? This is the guy that is doing a job on the on the road. A worker is doing a heavy work. He's taking a heavy toll on one. You know what I mean? Uh, is doing something, he's contributing something. But here you have a guy that is just doing the same, you know, the, 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 you know, a heavy machine or something, digging, you know, the ground along the uh, ditch along the along the road or something. I mean, he's just blasting into, you know, whatever la la land. Uh, listen to this. Pogotovo ovo što se desilo u Sloveniji, ja sam se u trenutku upašio da nam reka Sava ne dovuče celu Sloveniju u Beograd. Šta wow. Pa šta ćemo onda? I got afraid. It's going to be the whole Slovenia is going to be flooded all the way to the Belgrade when this floods started in Slovenia. Srbi su već napravili strašnu grešku u toku drugog svetskog rata. What are we going to do then? The Serbs already made a terrible mistake during the Second World War. A terrible mistake the Serbs have made. Kad je Hitler proterivao desetine i stotine hiljada Slovenaca. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Like I said, uh, when Hitler uh, exiled from Slovenia hundreds of thousands of Slovenian people there are hundreds of thousands. <laughs> For a brotherly reception into Serbia, where they brotherly accepted them in Serbia. In a selvi dok se rad završi po srpskim selima. And populated Serbian villages with his Slovenes till the World War II finished. They fed them, they, uh, they cared for them, they, uh, uh, I don't know what, they, they nourished them. <laughs> it's, it's funny, actually. Čak i jedan od najvećih slovenačkih srbomrzaca, Milan 
Kurtschan. And even one of the biggest haters, one of the biggest Serbian haters, he says, one of the biggest Serbian haters there ever was. Dođen je u zbjegu u Srbiji. Pa nam se grdno svetio posle udaci. He was born in Serbia and he avenged, he revenged to the Serbs for the Serbian hospitality is what he's saying. Heavily. He gave the Serbs knife into their back. Yeah. So now you see, it's interesting how this Balkan politic how this uh, politic works. Uh, what I said to you earlier that this is this is the guy uh, who, yeah, I, that's why I said his name is Milan Kuchan, actually, the guy for whom he's suggesting that screwed him up, that was born, a Slovenian guy, who was born in Slovenia, in Serbia during the World War II, and have retaliated for being taken care of in Serbia heavily uh, against Serbs. Uh, now you understand basically how this Balkan politic works. Now we are waiting for Aleksandar Vucic, for this guy to come out, and he's going to say, oh, biće, biće svaga, biće helikoptera, biće to, nema šta neće, sve će biti, evo, a biće Boga mi Jugoslavia, biće Boga mi Jugoslavia, a ove pare ovdje, ovo, ovo, bit će Boga mi i para. Ovo, vidiš ovo, vidiš ovo, bit će Boga mi i ovo. Maybe there will be maximum 200 million dollar euros, and I don't think it's going to be more, that is going to be given to Slovenian taxpayers who suffered in this process. But the number probably is ranging about 150 million, it was estimated. But for the rest of the money that you see, that cash is going to go to the Serbia, and that cash is going to go to the Russia and to the Serbia. I told you Putin was involved in this stuff, and he voted yes for Slovenian floods. Yes for Slovenian floods. So you're going to have a... You're going to have a lot of cars. You're going to have beep, 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 beep from Belgrade. It's going to be rolling. The fucking sadness to Ljubljana. You know what I would say to you, Serbs? Bring along those Chetnik flag from the Yugoslav Federation and start to wave. Because, you know, it's a, it's a love, then it's a war, it's a bam, bam, bam. You kill a little bit here, you kill a little bit there, you get the city there, you get that region, you get that one, and then it's again, Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia, and then it's again love, and then it's again time for bam, bam, bam. And that's the way it goes. This is the story about Yugoslavia. It's not only about the Yugoslavia. We yet have to see what's going on with the Ukraine, but Ukraine appears is resisting, and it's not too much motivated in this kind of agenda, which Milan Kočan, Borut Pahor, Gregor Golovic, Kresalkica, Kresalova, Tanja Fajon, and all these young people, these young, mladi zanesenjaki, ki vse vedjo, ki vse vejo, they're going to make another one. Yeah? And lucky you, you're going to be in a greater Serbian threatening state before you know again. It looks like. That's what this is all about. So, this is a Serbian president, yeah? Aleksandar Vučić. Više to ne bi smeli da radimo. U Slovencima mi nikad nismo imali prijatelje. Ne treba da se zanosimo. I proti sam toga da se dva naša helikoptera šalju u ispomoći. Uh, we shouldn't even send the two helicopters to the Serbia, you see. So what they're doing is, this is the guy, this guy here, Aleksandar Vucic, you know. Uh, he goes down, you know, we shouldn't even send the two helicopters, you know, so that this guy comes on a stage, you know.
who the fuck is the who the fuck is the Alexander Vucic? Well, if you want to know who Alexander Vucic is, you have to Google and learn about the Karadzic, Mladic, and finally even Boislav Shesha. Nah, you see this guy here? This? This is this is who Boislav Shesha is. I should say, excuse me. He was way before Alexander Vucic. This is his student. All this picture you're gonna see, Boislav Shesher, Tretnik Boislav Shesher with Alexander Vucic, all this, you're gonna see this stuff, you will understand who Alexander Vucic is. Okay? When you when you when you do this, when you do a little homework, okay, because that's what we are waiting for, his young apprentice, Alexander Vucic to come and say. And then the next day, tomorrow, then it's going to be all the Slovenian media. It's going to be, did you hear what Alexander Vucic stated to Vojstov Šešel? And they're going to start what is known as the schizophrenia. It's a paranoid schizophrenia, and Yugoslavia was built on a violent, extremely violent case against me. Case of violent paranoid schizophrenia. Cheers, my friends. Thanks for watching this video. They have negotiated for, with the Polacks. How, who will have the right? Who will, do you hear me what I said? Who will have the right? Who will have the right to send assistance to Slovenia for the floods? Yeah, they negotiated with this stuff. They negotiated with this stuff. See this here? They gave them the right. And you're gonna have another case here. You're gonna see the case. It's gonna be Kreteno ni več, samo bolj vidni so. Yeah. That's something for the first time is actually happening, that cretins now are visible. Because I make them visible. I make them so visible that any idiot in Slovenia, if you are without knowledge to, I don't know, without, if you have a grammar school, you don't understand what I'm trying to say. It's in English language, that's true.
you have a guy here uh, who frankly uh, on from the Austrian side uh, Slovenian guy who accused Slovenian government saying that uh, Slovenian government declined to receive the assistance from Slovenian people on the Austrian side of the border. This is the Milan Kuchan, I should say, Vojislav Sassel Alexander Vucic war. Now we are fighting here in Slovenia. This is what Frau Ursula von der Leyen brought with London to Slovenia. This is basically the European Union legacy we were left here with in Slovenia. We have this shit going on. Yeah. This is what successfully so they accomplished that the people, Slovenian people on both sides of the borders, on Austrian side and on Slovenian side, are now fighting for one another to have the right to help one another. You get the point? I mean, look, I'm going to give you a little map here. This is Ljubljana here. A city, Ljubljana, a capital of Slovenia. I talk like this because this shit is bizarre stuff I witness still is beyond bizarre and when I see this shit is happening in front of the eyes of the people who settled for something that you see where Slovenia is that's a Slovenia this little country right there here you know what this is this is a Serbia look we are waiting for the Vucic and another one we are waiting we are waiting for Dodik from Bosnia and Herzegovina. He also was motivated in sending help to Slovenia. Milorad Dodik. Who the Milorad Dodik is to Alexander Vucic, the two grew up together. This is like you would have like a fucking shirt and pants, basically. Okay? These are like two brothers. You, you understand? Miller Dodik is a little older kid from Bosnia, but Vučko, Vučić is a Serbian from Belgrade, the same age as I was when I was delivered there. And whenever Miller Dodik would go to Belgrade, and he arrived to Belgrade all the time, all the time, these are these are these are the referenti, like we say in Slovenian, referenti from Bosnia that would go and they would report to Belgrade when this was a Yugoslavia still about who is necessary to be killed, uh, who is opposing to whatever, what the situation is, what the general field is in a certain region, and so on. Uh, this is what this shit is. Yeah. Okay. So. Slovenia is a lucky, so a happy land with a happy end in Yugoslavia country is now only waiting for assistance, you know, for the two people. One is going to be Milorad Dodik and it's going to be Aleksandar Vucic. And these are a politicians like a sensation, you know, sensationalist. Uh, politicians that love to do clown. These are clown shit. These are people that are fucking clowns. They make the news out of no fucking news. And the whole thing is a scam. It's around here from Belgrade with the people here in Slovenia and Ljubljana that coordinate all this bullshit. So this is Slovenia. And next to it, as you see, it's called Austria right here. And the upper region here that you see a good portion of Austria is based on 
mixture of Slovenian people with the German people, a good, good, big portion of it. And there is a still a Slovenian minority on the Austrian side. And this Slovenian minority in, on the Austrian side does not have the right to assist. You know, they don't have the right because Ljubljana, I should say Belgrade, you know, let's say Ljubljana, fuck Ljubljana. It's called Belgrade. Uh, doesn't like that. See, that's not welcome. No, they'll accept Polish, yeah, they'll accept Polish help, but there was one man who fucked them anyways. And even this guy was involved in MK Ultra. It was about the bridge, the news about the bridge. And the one who immediately put the brand new bridge, because the Germany was the one who offered. That's how the Serbian bridge looks like. Serbs do bridges like this. Hey, can you believe that you, you wouldn't give me information about that kind of stuff? My goodness, hey. You give me the information if I put here 24 hours? No? Okay, let's see this. The wrong word was used. Austrian. Österreich. Austriski. It's a very, very bad word. Here, the German is very, very, very bad. It's not supposed to be. The only thing that happened was Austrians came. It's a, actually the Germans came. The German company came and they threw the bridge right there. They were making the big fucking deal out of it for free. They came. But it's a problem with the bridge. The bridge is problematic. You know why it's problematic? It's problematic because it's a quality, good, strong bridge and it was built in one day, two days, something like this. So it's a really, really a trouble. And, uh, you know, yeah, that's like a different kind of trouble. We're waiting for the big lines of the tourists from Serbia. They're going to be coming and they, it's going to be in the name of the solidarity. It's going to be a solidarity we're waiting on from the Serbia is going to come and is going to is going to save us, man. So it looks like that this this was maybe too fast. They rejected. I don't know how many German and Austrian companies companies. Uh, ahead of the floods, they negotiated with the Austrian and with the German government and have heavily rejected their assistance. This is the truth about Ljubljana. Oh, here is the... I don't know, we're going to see this stuff. This was a, the only assistance, the only help, the presence of the German government and Austrian government that was allowed in Slovenia by Belgrade. And when I say Belgrade, it's here. Like, see? see this guy here? This is Belgrade. This here. Belgrad. Belgrade. See, the, the, the Belgrade, this here, ba Belgrade. All right, folks, this is so mentally retarded shit. 
I have seen it with my own eyes during MK Ultra, all these little apparatchiks, little Hitlers, voice low Sheshel without even knowing where the fuck is bubbling over there, have talked about to his Serbian television. And those of you who did not, and they did terrorize people, they did taught people, no vote for Milan Kuchan. No assistance, flood assistance for you. Too bad you will not vote for Pahor because your house, your area is in a flooding area and we are awaiting for the flood of the century. Too bad. The funds will be given, but the elections are held next year. This is what Milan Kuchan built his election platform since 2008. Hey, all right, man. Solidarity. The solidarity for me from Slovenian people was this one here. This is how I ended up because of the Slovenian dementia. I reported myself to to the work. For the 12 hours rotating shifts in Poland in Zgersh. And I had a little tent like this in the middle of the forest, at least for a few days I did, because of what, what Serbs had Polacks do to me, because of what British paid to Serbs, so they could enforce against me in Poland, in the center of the Poland, where I learned Polish language so that I could come out alive from Slovenian Hitlerianic solidarity. The Slovenes went ahead to label me as a paranoid schizophrenic, as mentally ill, took from me every dime, ripped my part into pieces, stolen everything, destroyed everything, labeled me as a paranoid schizophrenic, and I was searching for the truth. That's where I broke my spine, got poisoned a little bit more here and there. That's the Slovenian solidarity. If you want Slovenian people some kind of compassion for me for the floods, you're not going to get one. That's why I said this case is continuation of greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. And it was designed, it was built for me to hate you and for you I don't give a fuck fuck you fuck you and your solidarity I'm just saying where you have taken your country your own people your destiny and what kind of a route you have taken one to where this whole thing is going where this where it got me in my life basically uh, but you will remember my case whether you like it or not whatever destiny you're going to choose you're going to live with the truth. This is going to be your curse. You're going to eat your fucking Yugoslavia, New Yugoslavia, whatever you're going to get yourself. You're going to eat. You're going to eat yourself in whatever system you're going to wonder. I was the one who bailed you out of that shithole. You're the one taking us back. You already did to that shithole. And so that's what I want. I want you to remember every word in this video so that you're not going to have, I'm, I'm giving the proof about what, is, what, what Serbs are going to use against you when you're going to be running. You already are 33,000 Slovenian people run escape from Slovenia every year. But once this shit gets together, you're going to get a proof in, in a form of words, in a form of video that you will remember, basically, that you will take to your heart and you will know to whom you belong, to whose son you are, what to expect for departing the future Yugoslavia, 
what your expectation should be in line with, for what you did, for, for your solidarity with me. I'm going to put it plain and simple. For your solidarity with me, what you will get. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. I want to make sure that the clown is not going to put the news because they listen inside of this house, everything I do, everything I say. And it, it just happened so that I report about something and it's Don't know how, but it happens frequently that dates somehow are even in between. If I report the news, and I even have a proof for that, uh, which they claim that in MK Ultra is impossible that Google could possibly change once the, something is published to the internet. Uh, the date and time uh, of someone. Uh, but it happened frequently that I see people who were involved in MKUltra who told me, if you will publish this, I will publish that. And it's going to be one day before you will publish. And so I already have I recorded people repeatedly this type of technology that's being used by the Google to uh, structure the news uh, that appears with a date earlier than the news I release and it's not even the news that that I would be aware of uh, unless I come across and I see one and I compare one to the date of my own news when I release one and then it's 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 it becomes evident that it, it was the same day basically that was released with Google somehow changing, using some kind of tactic, whichever way they do it, changing date for one hour or 24 hours to make sure actually on the internet, when you look at it, it makes a change, it makes a difference. If nothing other morally, basically. I can't say once I publish this, they publish that. I can't say this, if you understand me what I'm trying to say. Google does shit like this. That's what they brokered in a ground zero. Ground zero was referred to 9-11, and it was also referred to my case. My case also was known as ground zero. That's where the people would met in like a neutral zone, and whatever they discussed, it stayed right here. It would not go anywhere else from here. Today is Tuesday, 15 August. It's seven minutes missing to 10 a.m. You're going to see ambulance vehicle, all kinds of stuff is going to be. These are the guys that, this was a mentor from Vucic. Vucic, he had a home at Vucic. This was, this was his mentor. Whenever he would come to Belgrade, he would just go to Vucic, basically. Now, um, negotiate heavily with Borut Pahor on what based on a terrain they inspected on what Slovenia will need the most and it was this politician's the little politician's uh, schoolmate from board power this is Robert Bob. Uh, this guy here he's a prime minister now he would be running this floods you know this is a schoolmate from from board power and so on and so forth so there's nothing else.